Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Has 20 Virtual Summit Breakouts. During this session, you'll be able to submit questions and upvote questions from other attendees. The questions with the most votes will most likely be among the questions asked by the host to the presenter at the end of the session during the live Q&A. The bottom right tile box is where you can type in your question as well as click the thumbs up button to upvote a question. During the session on the top right tile box, you will also see a five question quiz based on the speaker's content. Enhance your learning by taking the quiz during the session and get points for your correct answers. All sessions will be available on demand and if the presenter has given us permission, you will also be able to download the slides. It is now my pleasure to introduce session 11, beginning a predictive analytics journey, choosing the right use cases for success. It will be presented by Jacqueline Bernard, Innovations Team, Texas Children's Hospital. Enjoy the session. Today's presentation is about beginning a predictive analytics journey and choosing use cases for success. The presentation has two parts. First, I'm going to talk about what it takes to get a new predictive analytics program off the ground, drawing on our early experiences at Texas Children's. That will include making the case for your organization to invest in predictive technologies, strategies for choosing initial projects, and lessons learned. After that, we're going to shift gears and discuss the predictive analytics use case evaluation framework that we've developed and use today in order to help us achieve success. We have four learning objectives today. First, Describe strategies for choosing initial use cases that resonate within your organization and help to sell the value of investing in machine learning technologies. Second, articulate the value of pursuing multiple proof of concept models simultaneously. Third, understand key lessons learned about what makes a predictive analytics project successful. And finally, apply a use case evaluation framework that assesses understanding of the issue, data quality, resource availability, and business or clinical value throughout the life cycle of a project. Now, before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about Texas Children's. We have three main hospitals in the Houston area with more than 900 beds. This makes us the largest pediatric hospital in the country. We also have a large pediatric primary care network with more than 50 locations across the Houston, Austin, and College Station areas. Between the hospital and our primary care practices, we have more than 14,000 faculty and staff. In addition to patient care, we also have a health plan that covers more than 460,000 members in the Texas CHIP and Medicaid programs. And on the left side of this slide, you can also see our latest US News and World Report ranking. So let's jump in. Now this slide shows what we envision our analytics journey to be. Like most organizations, we began with descriptive analytics looking at our data to understand more about what happened in the past. Then we moved on to diagnostic analytics, focusing more on real-time analytics used to drive care, as well as understanding why something was happening. We have a well-established enterprise data warehouse that we've been using for the past 10 years. The EDW collects data from more than 60 source systems. We have more than eight terabytes of data and growing. And the EDW supports more than 200 subject area marts dashboards, and other reporting tools. With this foundation, we believe that we do descriptive and diagnostic analytics very well. So with that strong analytics foundation, we wanted to take the next step in providing value to our customers by entering into the predictive analytics space. We began that journey in spring 2017. Our initial foray into machine learning was a proof of concept, the brainchild of our then CMIO and our director of enterprise data. At the time, CLABC, Central Line Associated Bloodstream Infections, was a topic of interest at the hospital. So that's what we chose for our first use case. And we partnered with a consulting firm to help us build that first model. And while that first effort wasn't yet ready for prime time, it was promising. So fast forward to fall, and based on the success of that first CLABC proof of concept, we brought our consultants back to do some additional POCs. We brainstormed possible use cases among our own team and a few other stakeholders around the organization. 